Hi, this is Manos Brilakis and Peter Taiti from the Minneapolis Heart Institute presenting case 104 for the second edition of the Manual of CTO Interventions. This is a case that started the wrong way, as will be shown in the next slides. The patient presented with exertional angina, he had stents in the LAD, normal LV function, and he was referred for PCI of a right coronary artery CTO. The occlusion was with a blunt, ambiguous cap because of the origin of two side branches, a large conus branch and a smaller marginal branch, right at the proximal cap. The lesion length was approximately 30 to 40 millimeters. The distal vessel was of good caliber without significant disease and was filling via ipsilateral bridging collaterals. Therefore, because of this, we were hesitant using the undergrade approach. We did images on both groins, no significant disease. There was some resistance felt while advancing the left guiding catheter. And the next thing we knew is that a large peripheral self-expanding stand was located at the tip of the guide catheter all the way in the aortic arch. The guide catheter was withdrawn in the abdominal aorta and eventually the self-expanding stent became dislodged from the guide catheter and embolized distally in the abdominal aorta. We therefore have a challenge with a large self-expanding stent being located in the abdominal aorta. We made attempts to snare the stent with a three-loop snare that were unsuccessful. And then we made our own snare by advancing a long guide wire through a diagnostic multipurpose catheter. The front end was reinserted into the tip of the uh, diagnostic catheter and pushed all the way back. And then by pulling the back end of the wire, we're able to make smaller the loop of the snare and capture the stand. The stand. And by doing that, we were able to advance a wire through the low stand. That wire was snared. And then um, we essentially created a rail allowing pulling the stand all the way into the right common iliac artery. This is a much more favorable location than the distal aorta. And then what we did is advance a balloon expandable stand next to the lost stand. That uh, stand was deployed, essentially covering the previously placed lost stand and restoring undergrade flow into the iliac. After doing that, we were able to engage um, the vessel again with the dual injection that demonstrated a nice uh, septal collateral from the LAD to the right posterior descending artery. And then we were able to easily cross this collateral using a Fielder FC wire and the Corsair microcatheter. We were able to advance it to the mid right coronary artery. However, the wire then uh, took a subintimal course. However, having the retrograde wire in place helped us understand the course of the vessel and using it as a target, we were able to advance an undergrade wire into the distal trilumen next to the retrograde Corsair catheter. The occlusion was ballooned and then after placing stents, a nice final result was achieved. That was the vessel before and after with nice recanalization. So this case demonstrates a potential complication if there are recently implanted or potentially even old iliac stents. If one advances a catheter through those stents, it is possible to dislodge them and have them embolize in the aorta or other locations within the big vessels. Therefore, one should be very careful about patients with iliac stents. Sometimes this may not be known to the operator, but if it is known, crossing of those stents should be performed with uh, extreme caution under fluoroscopic guidance. And ideally, a sheath should be advanced through those stents, a 45 centimeter long sheath, which is now used in more CTO interventions anyway, to prevent exactly having any effect on the previously placed iliac stents. If there is dislodgement of an iliac stent, as in this case, the retrieval may not be feasible because these are very large stents. Instead, it can be moved to another location within the vasculature, in this particular case in the common iliac artery, and then covered with another stent to prevent embolization and uh, allow 
uninterrupted and the great flow. Thank you.